gonna try and braise this up now if I can with the blow lamp. It's a bit rough, but I think it might work. Bonnet update. Looks good with the glitter, but for some reason, we've ended up with this like mottled effect, like a kitchen worktop, sort of orange peely. So I don't know whether we've had not enough thinners in the lacquer or what, but we're kind of gonna have to flatten it off and start again. It looks a really good effect, but it's not the one I wanted. I want it like granite, like glass with sparkles, not, not like that. Chester update, he's just looking for anything he can chew. Mainly his blanket out of his box and the throw on here to stop him making a mess. And phone chargers. I don't think you're supposed to chew the handle of the drawer. Coupling up to the mini Joe's mini digger trailer now, and I drew a line on the back of the bumper with a dry marker right on the center of the bumper where the ball itch is. Because the camera's to one side, I've had to draw another line now so that it lines up because when you back up with the centre of the car, it's miles away. So that was my first mark above the ball itch. The camera's up there because of the angle. That was my second mark, but really it needs to be there, I think. So it looks right in the camera. So I'll rub that one off. And I'll put another mark. see what that looks like it's perfect now half turn this week so the motorhomes are getting prepped for going out Peter's here now doing them in Adam's skid steer got left and right on the joystick forwards and backwards and then the bucket is up and down on there proper responsive So we're now going to move the trench over to that string line now a little bit further this way so we're not on top of the water pipe. This line here is where we did the first trench with the plough and then we ended up hitting the water pipe up there so then we dug another trench here and that was in the way. So now I'm filling that in and that string line now is going to be the new fence line hopefully. We've got Joe's digger, we're just doing it now bit fiddly I'm reaching under the string so I'm just trying to track along and plow in the old trench with the bucket so what I do is lift up under the string back blade and spoil into the old trench then dig under the new trench under the string the new trench and then try and flick that forwards move along to the next bit. Yeah, this was the water pipe that was in the way of putting the fence posts in. So that's why I've realigned the trench now. Adam and Neil have been using that monstrous saw to cut this piece of oak into planks on that jig with a ladder.
you like the grain will come out twice as better. It's a beef that, aren't it? Yeah, if you chip that out, you put like a, a like turquoise resin in. Yeah. Simon, who's hiding, wants a new plough, and apparently Lem can do one with a 120 centimetre clearance, did you say? And a six furrow will plough three metres in one pass. So does anyone know if anyone's got any in stock and how what the availability is? 3.6 metres. 3.6 metres, so we want some. A gone cold start video. It's alive! We're going to see if it goes in four-wheel drive and see what pulls best this, or the 1455. We thought they were the four-wheel drive switches, but they're not. They must be for the PTO. And the four-wheel drive is actually that switch there. So we have a light on the dash, so we've got four-wheel drive there. In the green corner, we have the MB track with a truck engine conversion. So it's an MB track 1000, and it weighs 4.8 ton with me inside it, or 4.720 without me inside it. So we'll move that round, and then we'll weigh the 1455. Rob is just piling up the green waste to make a bit more room on the yard. So we've got the strap on. See which pulls the best. In the red corner, weighing 6.14 tonnes, the beast on the way bridge, is the 1455 case, which is supposed to be 145 horsepower. It's got a turbo clutch in it, and we'll see how it performs against the MB track. Both classics in the day. So, what do you reckon, Rob? Which one? We'll see. Just backing up now, we'll hitch it up with the uh, 10 ton strap. I think the 4055 will have the advantage because the hitch is slightly higher. I think I definitely need a set of weights for the MB track to level it up a little bit. Anyway, what sounds better? This is the 455. And then Rob's going to rev up the MB track as well. The, yeah, if you put two tonne of weight on this, so maybe like a block on the back and a block on the front, then we'd end up with it being heavier. Mind you, the two and a half tonne weight block would work, wouldn't it? But it's not got front linkage, so you'd have to put it on the back, and then I don't know whether it would unbalance it. And obviously, let's see what this sounds like. Doesn't have the whistle when you back off, but it definitely sounds well. We, we need a dyno night, and we also need to get a full trailer full of stone on both tractors and time and pulling them up the hill. Then we'll actually see a, a good indication of what's got the most horsepower without a dynamometer. Dad's put the fuel pipe back on, hopefully it works. I don't know whether he's tried it. He's now, I didn't see him when he put it on and he's now gone to a wedding. So uh, happy wedding day to David and Charlotte. I'm on my way up there in a bit. Did you know it's JCB's birthday today from 1945? I presume that's when it was founded, not actually when he was born. Anyway, that's the that's the little bit of history of JCB. I've still got that video from when I went round the museum and I'm gonna put it out when I have a day off or when I have a day when I've not done anything particularly interesting or go on holiday or something. So I've still got it there in the background, ready to go. Also, we've got a few other birthdays. Mark Asher, Craig Walker. I think Craig said he watches when he's in his truck at night. James Hudson and uh, Katie, I don't know how he spells it, Strackham. 
wanted a shout out, but a boyfriend wanted to give her a shout out, but he never said whether it was her birthday or not. So if it's your birthday, happy birthday. If it's not, I don't do shout outs unless it's someone's birthday or something really important, because otherwise I'd just be here all day, the amount of messages I get. I know it's nice to get messages, but sometimes I get too many. I am completely aware as well of the big case that is for sale in an auction on the 10th of November. I've been sent it on numerous different platforms about 100 times now, so you don't need to send me that anymore. The same as the MB track for sale as well, another auction with a hedge cut run. Well, I've got an MB trick now, so I don't need another one. Anyway, thanks to everyone that's watching. If you want to subscribe, it's over there. If you want to watch another video, it's over there. If you've got this far, click like, and also tell me what sounded the best, the 1455 or the MB track, because I think the 7710 might sound even better again. See you tomorrow.